y'all. Look. They think I'm their mom now, I think. I fed them some panko and sardine water. They loved it. I've had them out here so their mommy can come get them and take care of them. She's been flying around, but I don't know if she's been down here. So this is me holding my phone normal. They fell from right there. Well, if they stay with us, their names are Larry, Curly, and Mo. But they love that panko and sardine water. They're going to grow quick. Okay, well, I lost another one last night. I've had to <clears throat> change their little nesting facility here. Look at these folks. Look at this. This one's ready to fly. Look at him. Not ready. I mean, he's wanting to. He's bigger than what he thinks he is. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Oh, come on. Get up here. He will fly to me. Oh, sorry, baby. He flies to me. I don't know if he'll do it while I got him on camera. Come on. There you go. Look at him. <laughs> Paint that something. <laughs> I think they like it. Gives them a little perch. Don't they? Okay, so these little fellows, they make progress every day. I've had to put a double the box upside down over them so they have room to room because they were getting out and they're not old enough to be able to take care of themselves. But just wanted y'all to see. Watch what they do. Look. Look at this. Watch. Watch him. Oh, come on. Watch him. Watch this. They're getting defensive a little bit too. Watch. He will peck at my fingers. Trying to strengthen their little wings to where they can get further. She, this one here in the box, she's getting better. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I don't know what's loud. I apologize. This is where they want to be. Let's see if we can get some feeding time. I need to start training them to pick their own food. Because they're actually starting to spit out the food that I'm giving them. I hope you can hear me, hear me past them. Okay, so now I'm going to try to set them down and try to feed them. If they'll let me. Look. Look at him. Look at him. 
finger. There you go. There you go. Right here. here. Come on, dude. The bigger one's a little more difficult because he's older. <laughs> he is. Here, here, here. All this is is sardines have messed up. There you go. <laughs> Over there. I kind of like to get them to where they can pick their own food. But they eat this good. And they'll let me know when they don't want any more. They'll spit it out. See. Well, she didn't spit it out that time, but that's how they do spit it out. Yum, yum. Here. I would like to try to see if they can get their own. Come on, baby. Where are you going? Come on. Once they get their bellies full, get a few bites. They're good. Nope. Yes, they're done. Yes, I do wash my hands off and keep my hands clean. What are you, where are you going? You can't get over there. You'll fall off the edge of the desk. Come on. Come on, baby. I shredded a bunch of paper today so I can keep get them a clean bed. They do like me. <laughs> I do they do identify me with someone that I guess they feel safe or with or comfortable with. They chase me. They come after me. Let's move this out the way. Come on, let's get back on the pad. We don't want you pooping on the furniture there. Thank you, girl. I say she's a girl because she's little. Now she's going to get over there where she can find. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Yay! Good. That's so good. Come on. I like for her to learn to strengthen their wings. Come on. There you go. Although they can fly and lift themselves. They can lift them up to, to get up on my shoulders. I don't know how they teach them in the wild. I'm trying to improvise here. Doing the best I can. But when I had them, well, originally there were three. Then there were four. We lost two. These were the two strongest and two two uh, biggest ones. Look at him. He's going to sleep, I think. Come over here. And she's getting ready to go to sleep. I don't know if they're growing boys. I don't know. I just know she's, this little one's smaller, so I call her a her. They're sweet as can be. I don't know. They're just plain old brown birds that fly around Florida, building nests up in the up underneath awnings and things. But they didn't have any wings on them on when they got them. I'm gonna post. You'll see the the video. I've got them this far, so. Hopefully we can get them to a point where they can fly and be individuals and go out and make their own babies and own nests and take care of their own families. Until then, I'll be glad to 
help them get that far. I just don't know how to teach them how to eat, how to go dig for worms and stuff, how to feed themselves, and that's going to be the issue. Is it instinct, like flying? Is it instinct for them to be able to do that? I don't know. If you know, let me know right in the comments below. <laughs> I'm going to build them a little, get their nest cleaned out, their nest box. They were eating quite a bit. They've kind of slowed down on the amount they eat. Usually every time you walked by them, they wanted to eat. Now they're, they'll eat a little bit and they'll spit out what they don't want. I have to keep their boxes clean because they spit it out in that box. And that's, all that is is sardines. I mash them up. And that's what they've eaten, sardines, since I've had them. Thinking about going to Walmart and maybe getting some of their little red wiggler worms or something. Might be a nice little treat different for them. I mean, they're pooping and stuff, and it that is got their sardines in water, so they do to get some water with it, liquids. <laughs> their little feathers on top of their heads remind me of the penguins in the movie Surf's Up. <laughs> Let me get their nest cleaned out. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. For this, what I'm going to do, to make sure I can get a good camera angle at this. Yeah. Okay. What this, what I'm going to do with this is uh, I'll just take a bunch of paper I've shredded. typing paper, copy paper. I actually had a whole bag of this and went through it. So now I had to shred a bunch today. And tonight, the season, when I lay them down for the night, I'll make them a little crevice, a little hole. And I'll kind of like scoop the paper in around them and it cuddles them. still asleep. It's standing there. I'll take this and I'll bury it like that. And they can climb on it. And I've cleaned it and cleaned it and that's just that's just how they are. That's how it is. Hi love. When they get their bellies full, they're content. Yeah, I think the moon made a boo-boo. I can't help it. Anybody, some people, oh, you just need to leave them alone. Let nature take its course. Well, I can't, I mean, sometimes nature needs our help. Oh, look at him. He's stretching. What you doing there, big guy? 
What you doing there? Yeah, sometimes nature helps us and sometimes we can give the help back to it, back to nature. I wouldn't want to see these old guys perish. I mean, I hate it. It broke my heart. I was devastated. I, we lost the first one, and I just boo-hooed like a... Oh, I bawled like a baby. The second one we lost, it was... I'd already lost the one, so kind of, you know... It's hard to... I've always heard that it's hard to get these guys to to uh, raise them, hand raise them to maturity. But they said the mom wouldn't take care of them after I took, you know, after we picked them up when they fell out of the nest. But there for a while she was flying back and forth and feeding them, and I let her. I, you know, I'm not interfering. What is it? They hear my people in the bay next to us making noise. Well, come here. Come here. You want to come here? Come here. Come on. Come on. See, I'm sticking my hand down. And he's defensive. He's, he gets defensive. See? Even though he knows who I am. Watch. He'll flap on me. Come on. Want to come up here? Want to come up here? Give him my arm. <laughs> Look at him. Probably feathers, the tail feathers. <laughs> <Look at him. laughs> Here, come on. Now well, he knows he can step on my hand. You're gonna get me. Come on, you get up on my hand. You don't have to. Can I get on my arm? He's the best. Look at it. Now he's going to go sleep in the water. I'm going to put him back in. I'm going to put him in their box. It looks like he would be accustomed to my finger coming down in there and not want to be not want to be aggressive towards me. There you go. Let, let me pick that out so it don't start stinking. Oh, look at him. He spit the other piece up. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Let's I'm gonna leave him alone for a minute. Because I'm gonna have to walk the old nest box out to the dumpster. Alright, I'm gonna let them get some sleep, get some rest. 
buy it. They got a clean box, clean nest. Okay.